previously, I traveled from Interlaken to Geneva and walked around to see the landmarks. In this episode, I'll be spending a day in the beautiful Annecy, France. Hi, so it's day 8 of my solo trip here in Switzerland. I'm here in Geneva right now, but I'm going on a day trip to Annecy, France. So while waiting for the bus, I'm just walking around and I've come to Brunswick. The park is just across Lake Geneva and located at the Mont Blanc Street where the luxury hotels are also situated. To get to Annecy, I'm taking the Flixbus, which is the cheapest option. But unfortunately, it's also not the most reliable when it comes to schedule. The bus is delayed so I spent the morning walking around Geneva while waiting for the bus. The bus to Annecy got delayed by an hour, so instead of just waiting at the bus stop, I decided to walk around again and I reached this uh, park in Geneva, which is just across the lake. You can see the fountain from here and then um, that's the Quai de Mont Blanc. I'm not sure if I pronounce it right, so that's the street where the luxury hotels are located. You can see behind me is the Grand Hotel and then um, we also pass by the Ritz Carlton and then other luxury hotels here. Thankfully, the bus still arrived despite the delay. So I took the Flix bus to Annecy. From Geneva, it would take about one and a half hours to reach Annecy by bus. Annecy is located at the Rhone Alpes region which is about 40 kilometers away from Geneva. Hi, so I have just arrived here in Annecy, France. So I'll just walk around using my downloaded map. FYI, Switzerland is not part of the European Union. So the SIM card that I purchased in Zurich did not work in France. So first up, I'm walking to Pont de la Morte. I just spelled it. Annecy is also known for its lake with crystal clear waters where you can enjoy different activities. Alright, so behind me that's the Lake Annecy and we've come to the bridge. This is the Bridge for Lovers. Also known as the Bridge for Lovers, this romantic footbridge offers a scenic view of the mountain, the lake, and the canal. From the lake, I just walked to the old town where you will find the postcard worthy Le Palais de Lille. Hi, so I'm now in Annecy and this is the most popular spot for a reason because it's so pretty. Annecy is so pretty. Annecy is one of the most picturesque villages that I have been to in this trip. So this is really worth a day trip from Geneva. Annecy is actually uh, the Venice of France, so it's called that way because of the river. If you love taking photos, then Annecy is a must visit. There are so many Instagrammable spots in this area. This place is perfect for a romantic or relaxing stroll since there are so many cafes and restaurants in the area. You can just people watch and relax. And she's so pretty, so there are a lot of small shops here, so you can just walk around and then you can grab some drinks, we have some coffee here, it's really pretty.
already past 1 p.m. So I'm just going to grab a drink. I'll go to a cafe. So I already left the Palace de Lille. But even the buildings here are still pretty. Okay, so I have come to the tourism offices to find the toilet. I don't know where do these people pee. I want to pee. If you need to pee or go to the toilet, you can go to the tourist information center where you can find a public water closet. Okay, so finally I found a toilet at the tourism office because I had to pee earlier. And then I went back to this Japanese restaurant since they have bento. Uh, here, it's just across the church. So I'm going to eat here at a Japanese restaurant, just across the church. Okay, so this is my food, that's a lot. So this is chicken bento. Okay, just done eating my late lunch. And the funny thing is, I ate at a Japanese restaurant owned by a Chinese man. And the food was cooked by an Indian. It's cold, but since we're here, we have to try the gelato. So I'm going to buy one. Actually, when I was eating earlier, I realized I don't have euros with me. I don't have cash. But thankfully, everyone accepts card. So this seems to be the most popular gelato place. There was a queue earlier, so I'm going to go buy from here. So I got the strachella and then... <coughs> So I got the gelato, stracciatella plus noisette. The noisette is free. So. The gelato actually tastes good, it's not too sweet. And I got one free, one so free. The best thing about traveling off season is that there are few tourists. So, for example, in this. Place. supposed to be this, this the most popular spot but as of now I'm the only person here before I go back to Geneva I just want to check the lake again because earlier it was not sunny so now I want to see what it looks like when it's sunny Before going back to the bus station, I went back to the lake to see what it looks like when it's sunny and also to explore further. This park is also frequented by locals. And here, you could enjoy different types of activities such as biking or cycling, swimming, kayaking. You can also ride the boats. Or if you want, you can just sit down and relax. There's also a playground for children. It's only 3.16 p.m. and my trip back to Geneva is scheduled at 4.55 p.m. So I'll just spend my time here and people watch. If you're traveling from France to Geneva, Switzerland or just traveling to Geneva, one best stop is here at Annecy, France. The common stops from France to Geneva is Lyon and then Annecy. But if you're staying in Geneva, you can just do a day trip here in Annecy. In my case, I just took the Flix bus, which was really cheap. I booked it two months ago and it was only about 8 euros. And you can also take the train, although I don't know the amount. I, it might be more expensive. And Annecy is a very walkable town or city. And 
it's very nice it kind of looks like venice and prague combined and there's a beautiful lake that you can relax back now to the bus station to leave for Geneva and I hope you enjoyed watching my Annecy vlog. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. This concludes my 7-part solo trip in Switzerland vlog. Thank you very much for watching the series. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And please tune in as I travel to Barcelona, Spain. Thank you for watching!